Joining us on another edition of the Florida Chamber Series on Free Enterprise is Susan Toller. Susan serves as the Vice President of the Florida Blue Foundation and also Executive Director of Corporate Social Responsibility for Florida Blue. She's widely involved in the philanthropic sector, serving on several nonprofit boards. She chairs Volunteer Florida, the Governor's Commission on Volunteerism, and serves as a trustee on the Florida Chamber Foundation's board. Welcome, Susan. How are you? Great, Preston. Thank you for having me today. You know, I can tell just uh, looking at your resume here, you're dedicated to Florida's philanthropic uh, and voluntary sector. Tell listeners why these matter so much. You know, philanthropy and giving back to our community and volunteering for worthy nonprofit organizations is really critical to our economic success in the state. Um, Being engaged in the community, um, you know better the needs. So if you're a business, you can find opportunities to meet those needs. Um, As well as um, volunteering, there's been research shown that it makes you healthier. So um, being with a health solutions company like Florida Blue, we're always interested in things that make you healthy and make our community stronger. Susan, in a recent scorecard stat, the Florida Chamber Foundation noted the strong economic impact philanthropic giving has on our state, much of that driven by individual and corporate gifts. Given the impact and the importance, what guidance would you have for business leaders as they design their giving programs? You know, I don't think that the dollar amount matters. I think sometimes small or mid-sized businesses think, oh, I can't, you know, don't have anything to give or I can't contribute back to my community because I don't have a big giving budget. That's simply just not true. Um, there's many opportunities for businesses to give back and to donate back to their communities. They don't just have to contribute treasure, as we say, right? There's time and talent as well as treasure. Um, Often businesses have a lot of um, expertise in their field, and nonprofits also need that expertise. So financial help, accounting help, marketing help, um, IT certainly is an area that not-for-profits need help in. So donating in-kind services is sometimes just as important as the money. I also think that... um, Nonprofits and community organizations can help a business solve a problem that the business is facing. Um, So for an example, at Florida Blue, about 10, 12 years ago, we noticed that there was an um, increasing nursing shortage. Um, There were not as many nurses um, working out in the field as we were projecting the need was, say, in 20 years. So we began working with the colleges, um, both the four-year universities and the two-year universities, on um, how could we help with that. What that became is a um, nursing scholarship program with the state college system that now um, helps, um, this just this year, helped 680 students receive partial scholarships or full scholarships to help complete their education so that we can have more nurses working in the field. For our business, um, nurses help improve the quality and safety of patient care, and hospitals need them um, to run efficiently. So you can see how thinking about what problems does my business face and how can I use philanthropy or charity or volunteerism or in-kind donations to help solve that problem. Susan, clearly the Florida Blue Foundation does a lot of work across the state promoting the health and well-being of Floridians. Tell us more about the Embrace a Healthy Florida initiative Florida Blue has invested in. Thanks, Preston. Embrace a Healthy Florida is um, a statewide um, proactive initiative aimed at the causes of childhood obesity. Um, we saw about eight years ago that the childhood obesity numbers were creeping up. And um, we didn't just want to look at um, education and marketing material on how to be healthy, um, because often low-income families don't have access to those services. So what we looked at is um, what are the barriers in these key communities around the state um, that we can help in. So one example is in Paramore. It's a neighborhood in Orlando, right off the Citrus Bowl. And um, we worked with a nonprofit there. They approached a grocery store owner, um, neighborhood grocery store on the corner, 
and you know he um had the owner had um beer and cigarettes and junk food of course in the front of the store and didn't have a lot of fresh produce so we went in and with his um obviously um it, guidance and approval and um cooperation we redesigned the store um so now the store has become an economic engine for that neighborhood um people more people shop there his revenue is up we trained his staff on how to handle produce and fresh meat and fresh cheeses um and how to you know move that through so we brought in a logistics expert and um so the store we've not only helped the business owner um invest back into his business and be successful but we're also changing the face of that neighborhood. Susan, you serve as well as the uh, as a Florida Chamber Foundation trustee recently moderated preparing the Givers of Tomorrow panel at the Floridians 2030 summit. If and I'm this is a tough question, but if if there was <laughs> if there was one key takeaway from that summit that Florida businesses need to know, what would that be? We had great discussion at the summit, and I encourage anyone who's listening to attend future summits of the Florida Chamber Foundation. They're, they're just wonderful. I think one of the takeaways that I um, took away was that um, employee engagement can be really important for a business. You know, like I said, not every business has the financial means, but you have employees who um, you can provide them opportunities to give back to the community. It's a wonderful way to engage your employees, to motivate them, to retain them, um, and to build teams if you're you know, looking to build a team within your company. It also helps with the millennials. Um, the new generation of employee coming up is very engaged in the community, very aware of a company's social responsibility. And so being engaged in the community will help you attract um, those young professionals that probably most companies are looking um, to have on their teams. Lastly, as you heard in the introduction, the series is on free enterprise here. And, and I'm always, I get the privilege of talking to leaders like yourself from across the state talking about free enterprise. So let me just throw the question at you. I say free enterprise. What does it mean to you? Free enterprise means to me that you have a focus on the customer, a focus on the consumer, that you provide innovative choices for consumers. Um, free enterprise gives businesses and our economy the opportunity to provide solutions to our most pressing problems. It also um, is heavily dependent on consumers having access, um, being healthy, and being wealthy um, so that they have the means and the opportunity um, to invest back into the businesses that are so critical to the success of our state. Susan, thanks so very much for spending time with us today. Uh, we appreciate your insight. Thank you. Thank you, Preston. Susan Toller with us today, and uh, we thank her for her time. The Florida Chamber's series on free enterprise continues, and I'm Preston Scott, and I'm Preston.